Okay, so number 11 here. Subway pass to starting value of $100. The table below shows, below shows the value of the passes at the first three rides. Now when I look at this, um, the ride number is gonna be a little bit different than what we've been also talking about is the term number. So I'm gonna add in just a little extra spot right here. That is called my term number. Because when I get ready to write this formula, the explicit formula for the arithmetic, okay, what that means is we gotta know what the first term of that sequence is, okay? And what happens then is that's a little bit off from we've seen before than the actual ride we've taken. We can see that we're off by one. So what that means then is when I get ready to create this uh, formula and then letter B calculate the 15 rides, I gotta first know where we're starting. We're starting off with a value of $100, and I gotta know how we're moving. So how much money are we losing each time? We're subtracting $1.50. Okay, with that in mind, I've got my formula there. Starting off with 100, losing $1.50 each time, and minus one. Now here is the key on this one. When I'm talking about 15 rides, 15 rides means I'm not talking about term 15, Ride three is ride four, or term four. Ride two is term three, and so on. Technically, I'm talking about term um, 15, so technically, I'm talking about term 16. So I'm going to plug in N as 16 there. Because if you don't, you are going to be off just by a hair. So I'm going to do a little mental math and go 16 minus 1 is 15. And then I'm going to go to Desmos and type that in. So 100 minus 15, whoops, sorry, 100 minus 1.5 times 15 it means I get $77.50 remaining on my card. Okay, $77.50. Number 12, find the missing term and state what will happen there, common difference or ratio. Okay, 4 to 12 to 16. What I then like to do then is take the pair that is consecutive and figure out it's either are we adding or subtracting, and then that would that go and fit the pattern that we started off with. Now, 12 to 16, I can quickly see, oh, that would be an adding of a 4. So if I say an adding of a 4, what's 4 plus 4 is 8. And then there's a 4 add to give me 12, and it does. That means our common difference was plus 4. Now, letter B, not as maybe obvious, but then I'm looking for these two numbers back to back. And I can tell from 25 to 5, that's a division of 5. Now, division of 5 is we said the same thing as multiplying by 5. So that's how I always calculate, or multiply by 1 fifth. And that's how I always set it up as the second term divided by the first term. So 5 divided by negative 25. Now, that gives me a negative 1 fifth because now... I am multiplying by negative one-fifth. If I go to my Desmos and I check that, 625, negative 625, 625 times negative one-fifth. I can see right there I get a positive 125. Now with that 125, I want to make sure I then get a negative 25 as my next term. So I'm going to change that to a 125. and then I get a negative 25, and it appears to fit that pattern, okay? Number 13, okay? On number 15 here, we wanna do uh, is state what type of sequence we have, and then find the specific term. When I see it in this form, multiplication is happening, we have geometric. That means we have a common ratio. Go back up to the formula we stated for you. Geometric. This is the explicit formula. The first number is the first term of that sequence. R is my common ratio. So G1 is 2 with the common ratio of 4. Now to find the 11th term, I'm going to go into my formula and say 2 times 4 to the uh, N, which in this case is 11, minus 1. So now I'm going to go to my head and say, well, what's 11 minus 1? 10. Now I'm going to go type in 2 times 4 to the 10th. So when I go and do that, 2 times 
four to the tenth. I get a pretty large number, two million ninety-seven thousand. One hundred and fifty-two. Okay. Letter B. We should look very familiar. We've been doing a lot of work with that one. That is arithmetic. Okay. That means we have a common difference. A sub one. The first term is negative twelve, and we are moving by a common difference of two. So n is one hundred and twenty-five. They specifically say find the one twenty-fifth term. So I go to my formula. Plug in 125. Do a little, little rent mental math right there and say 124. Then I go to my calculator and type that in. Negative 12. Negative 12 plus 2 times 124. 236 then.